Your Excellency Matteo Renzi, former Prime Minister of Italy, the Right Honorable Lord George Robertson, former Secretary General of NATO, Honorable uh, Ministers of the Government of Kosovo, Artone Rizvanoli, Minister of Economy, Liburnaliu, Minister of Environment, Spatial Planning and Infrastructure, Rosetta Haidari, Minister of Industry, Entrepreneurship and Trade, Faton Pezzi, Minister of Agriculture, Forestry and Rural Development, Elbert Krasnici, Minister of Local Government Administration, and uh, Nena Drasic, Minister for Communities and Returns. Dear Alasdair Ross, country's editor of The Economist, The World Ahead 2024, the conference chairperson. Dear Nektaria uh, Pasarivakis, President and the CEO of Economist uh, Impact Southeastern Europe events. Your Excellencies, Ambassadors, Jeffrey Hovernier, U.S., Thomas Schunjog, EU, Jorn Rode, Germany, Hristo Gujev, Bulgaria, Daniela Barisic, Croatia, Minza Benedicic, Slovenia, Your Excellency Ambassador Heleni Vakali, Head of Greek Liaison Office in Kosovo, dear uh, members of Parliament, ministers of the government, deputy ministers, dear representatives, and uh, uh, directors of uh, different institutions in Kosovo, then uh, of international and local financial institutions, dear business community representatives in Kosovo, ladies and gentlemen, dear participants, it is a distinct privilege to stand before you today on the eve of Kosovo's Liberation Day. Liberation and peace mean the same thing for our country. 12th of June, 1999. This occasion is not merely a celebration of our past triumphs, but a beacon guiding us toward a future filled with promise and opportunity. Western Balkans, with its rich tapestry of history and culture, has always aspired to be at the forefront of progress, and today we are here to discuss how our region can contribute to Europe's security and cohesion. The Western Balkans is a region brimmed with potential. Our diverse cultures, resilient populations, and shared aspirations provide a solid foundation for contributing positively to Europe's security and cohesion. Despite our differences, we are united in our commitment to democracy, stability, and prosperity. We believe that through collaboration and mutual support, the Western Balkans can indeed provide an optimistic perspective for Europe. Kosovo has made significant strides in strengthening democracy and security. Our country is at the forefront of real economic growth in Western Balkans from 2023 to 2025, as reported by the World Bank, holding the top position in the Western Balkans region. It is also ranked second worldwide in improvements in the rule of law, according to the World Justice Program, and maintains a strong standing in political rights and civil liberties, being first in Western Balkans, second in Europe, and third globally, as per the Freedom House report. Additionally, Kosovo is unmatched in the Western Balkans in terms of electoral democracy, as recognized by the VDEM Institute. Our commitment to democratic principles, human rights, and the rule of law has been unwavering. We've built robust institutions that safeguard our citizens' freedoms and ensure political inclusivity. Our partnerships with international allies, particularly NATO and the European Union, have been crucial in maintaining peace and security in our region. Our vision for Kosovo is one of regional security and prosperity. Economic development is at the heart of this vision. By investing in infrastructure, education, and technology, we aim to create a vibrant economy that benefits all citizens and leaves no one behind. Our recent economic reforms have not only attracted foreign investment, but also have stimulated local industries, paving the way for sustained growth. Regional cooperation is vital 
for achieving our goals. By working closely with our neighbors under the auspices and leadership of the European Union, we can address common challenges and leverage shared opportunities. Unity and collaboration are the keys to a prosperous Western Balkans. One of our greatest challenges is overcoming the historical prejudices and conflicts that have divided our region for too long. However, I am hopeful. The people of the Western Balkans have demonstrated an extraordinary capacity for reconciliation and dialogue. Communities in Kosovo are coming together to build a better future, and this spirit of cooperation will continue to thrive. Addressing economic disparities and social injustices is crucial. By promoting inclusive growth and ensuring equal access to opportunities, we can create a more just and equitable society. This is not only a moral imperative, but also a practical strategy for lasting peace. As we delve into these serious matters, let us not forget the unique charm and humor of the Western Balkans, our relentless quest to be the best often manifests in delightful ways. Whether it's a friendly debate about who makes the best coffee or a passionate discussion about football, our spirit of rivalry is always accompanied by a sense of camaraderie. This spirit will guide us as we strive towards a brighter future. Kosovo, at the heart of the Balkans, has experienced rapid development since its independence. Our robust average annual GDP growth rate of 6.2% over the last three years and low inflation rate of only 2.1% in the last quarter are testaments to our economic resilience. With the youngest demographic structure in Europe and strong public finances, Kosovo is well positioned for future growth. Significant progress has been made across various sectors. Our defense budget has more than doubled. FDI and exports have doubled in the last three years. Agricultural exports have increased by 29%, and our cultural and sports sectors are thriving. Health and education have seen notable improvements with new essential medicines and scholarships for students in science, technology, engineering, and maths. Investments in energy infrastructure and digitalization are driving our development, and our foreign policy is strengthening us as we advance our NATO and EU membership applications. Kosovo leads the Western Balkans in economic growth, rule of law improvements, and political rights enhancements. Our recent sovereign credit rating from Fitch Ratings will further boost foreign investment, lowering borrowing costs, and improve access to global capital markets. Our government is actively planning over 50 significant infrastructure projects requiring more than 7 billion euros in investments. This includes 1.2 gigawatt of renewable energy capacity and successful initiatives like the 100 megawatt solar energy auction and the $237 million Millennium Challenge Corporation's battery storage project, largest per capita globally. Our aim is to increase renewable energy usage to 35% by 2031. We are committed to the pre pre -active, proactive development of three key sectors, agriculture and food processing, manufacturing and IT-enabled BPO services. Kosovo's competitive advantages include its strategic location, full internet broadband penetration, and a young tech savvy workforce making it an attractive ICT hub in Europe. In conclusion, Kosovo and the Western Balkans have uh, much to offer Europe in terms of security, stability, development, and prosperity. By strengthening democracy, enhancing security, 
and fostering economic development, we can create a region that is united and thriving. Let us embrace the challenge ahead with determination and optimism, knowing that together we can achieve great things. The relationship between Kosovo and true democracies is a shining example of what can be achieved through cooperation and shared values. As we celebrate our past and look forward to a promising future, let us continue to work hand in hand for the prosperity and well-being of our people and our nations. Thank you very much.